Minnesota's U.S. attorney says no federal civil rights charges will be filed against two Minneapolis police officers in last fall's shooting death of a black man. Andrew Luger says there is insufficient evidence to support charges against the officers who had a lethal confrontation with 24-year-old Jamar Clark last November. Luger is the second prosecutor to decline to file charges in Clark's death following Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman's announcement in March. As has been stated by others so eloquently, there are no winners here and there's no victory for anyone. A young man has died and it is a tragedy. As a father with children the same age as Jamar Clark, my heart goes out to his family and I told them so before this event. For the family, for the community, for the police department, and for the cause of justice, experienced, highly trained agents and prosecutors worked for months to find and examine facts to determine if there is a criminal civil rights case that can be brought here. We have all concluded that no such case can be made. Clark's death set off weeks of protests on Minneapolis's north side, where some witnesses said Clark was handcuffed when he was shot. Freeman said forensic evidence backed up the officer's account that Clark was not handcuffed and that he had his hand on an officer's gun when he was shot. Minneapolis NAACP President Nikema Levy-Pounds responded to the decision today by saying, what happened to Clark shows that African Americans are living in a land of disparity and are being treated like second-class citizens. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.